everyone, my name is Jared. Welcome back to another video today. This is actually part five of my homemade scrap track build. And it's actually been a while because I actually, during some, well, time, over the, as you can see, the pedals are no more because, well, during the, during my time actually building it, the pedals actually broke. I'll actually, well, I should have prepared this, but I never really prepare for anything. But here are the pedals right here. This is what's left of my pedals. Basically, this is the whole gearbox. There's a cat. But this is what's left of the pedals from these from this bike. From this tire. Basically, I screwed up because I... the Basically, the whole bar, this bar right here... Or, well, see that little welded thing where the pedals are reaching? Focus, damn you. Focus, damn you. This right here... Well, basically, I, I accidentally welded too much, and I accidentally welded... It, the, uh, I welded this piece to this, rendering it, basically rendering it useless, and it does and it failed to work. Though, despite that, it actually does work, though it will no longer fit these forks that I, I replaced it with. I'll set these right here for the time being. But basically, here's the things that I've done. As you can see, I got some brakes, though I do need to re- I need to change this out, be flip this around, because this is actually quite straining, and it doesn't- these brakes, which I actually had to re- realign, which I had to line up myself, don't really function properly. But anyways, <coughs> I took my- my brother's old mongoose front frame- the front- front forks and handlebars off my brother's mongoose, and I slapped them on the front. So one, I have the, I can have, I can have brakes, and a bit of more reach with this deal right here. I'm gonna actually try and figure out how to put the power, make a powered thing, put a, bleh, put power to the pedals, holes right here, because I'm also gonna see because the, as I found out, these, this type of fork, is actually quite a cool one, into my opinion. Let me try and pull this out. Basically, there's a little, it's basically a, wa a washer with a little spacer. And if I try and pull this off, let me try and, it basically ha has the hole is slightly larger. So where, when I put the tire back on, let's see if I can get this back on, without a hitch, There we go. Basically, these pop slide on, and base create a little space for the wheels to ride on. Eh, I'm gonna forget, leave that one on for the time, leave that one off for it to the time being. But anyways, basically, my new plan is actually reinvent my pedals. I'm trying to reinvent the pedals, and also attempt to flip the these brakes a full 180, so that they they can work a bit more smoothly. So I won't have to tape the brake line. And uh, yeah, and also I actually had to redo this whole brake line because since these were when I my brother's bike was basically untouched, the whole thing this whole thing was internal. So I had to rip everything out and put it back in, and, uh, there we go. But anyways, there's nothing really much of a big update. Ain't want anything to update-wise. It's just that I finally got some, put some brakes up, finally hooked up some brakes. Which is basically all I have to say. But anyways, that's all of my update. Hopefully in part six I can get the, uh, Put, finally put the modified pedals and hope and hope to magic that these things won't break like the last pair but anyways my name is Jared hope you guys enjoyed see you again peace